Hey, uh, what's up everybody? Fireproof here, and I'm going to do my predictions for Sunday's pay-per-view, which is Survivor Series. Thanksgiving's pay-per-view of every year. First, we're going to go with Charlotte versus Paige. I'm going to go with Charlotte, just because of everything that Paige did, said bad about her dead brother, Charlotte's dead brother, uh, which controversy after it, they didn't like that. The Flares did not like that, the fact that they involved uh, their dead relative. And from what I understand, the uh, the promo, the contract signing, sucked. Paige is boring. We need more heels, better heels. But I am going to go with Charlotte. Next we got, I don't know if this is the main event. Or not. But Kane and The Undertaker versus the Wyatt family. I'm going to go with the Wyatt family just for the fact that I am tired of hearing about Kane and The Undertaker. They're old, they're washed up, they're crippled. Retire already. Just retire. Just, just, just retire. That's, that's pretty much it. I am tired of hearing about the 25 years of the Phenon. Yes, he is a legend. Yes, I respect it, but we know... Damn well you've been here 25 years. We just don't give a shit anymore. The next one is... Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens. Why isn't there a United States Championship match... Or the Intercontinental Championship match... At this pay-per-view? Or a tag team for that matter. There's not no tag team titles for uh, on the line either. What? Is the New Day... What? That stupid now with the gay-ass uh, unicorn? Or... Or what? Don't they have the challengers? This pay-per-view kind of looks pretty shitty. But we're going to go with the... The Intercontinental Champion Kevin Owens versus Dean Ambrose to get back on this on track. I'm gonna go with Dean Ambrose because uh duh, I'm not stupid. Just like I'm gonna go with Roman Reigns to uh to uh beat freaking Alberto Del Rio or, or, while we're on that. Because it's gonna set up for Roman Reigns versus Dean Ambrose. For the title. The winner of that match. I don't know. Rumors have it that. Roman's going to win. Turn heel. Other rumors have it that. Dean's going to. Turn heel. Win the championship. But you know. I'd rather see Dean over. Over Roman. It's not Roman's time. Roman sucks. And finally, but not finally, we have oh Tyler Breeze versus Dolph Ziggler. Just because Summer Rae didn't don't like Dolph and. Dolph just basically said no he didn't want to manager. I'm gonna go with Tyler Breeze. 
But basically this pay-per-view looks like shit. Come on, where is the New Day in their, for their, to defend their tag team titles? Are they the pre-show because... I don't know, this, this, this whole pay-per-view looks like shit to me. These are, these are not even my predictions. These are just me being... Thinking outside the box or thinking as a WWE representative. My predictions are... Dean Ambrose wins over Ke uh, Kevin Owens. Roman wins over uh, Alberto Del Rio. Charlotte wins over Paige. The only one that actually has a good chance of me guessing on is the Dolph Ziggler versus Tyler Breeze match because we all know that the Undertaker and Kane, the Brothers of Destruction, the old ass Brothers of Destruction, are going to bury the Wyatt family yet again. And poor Wyatt family, they try so hard. When Bray Wyatt wins a few, what does he get? Nothing. It's just like when he beat frickin' uh, Ryback for the inner uh, at a pay per view. What did and Ryback lost? What did Bray Wyatt get? Nothing. What did Ryback get? A title reign, a boring title reign. Thank you, Kevin Owens, for uh, making that thing interesting, but. What are we going to do? We, we're, WWE says we're freaking the voice of the WWE. Yeah, that's bullshit. And I know this is supposed to be a prediction match, but... Frankly... I'm disappointed in this whole pay-per-view. We got... And I ramble on and on and on and on and on about this. We got... The young talent gonna get buried by... Two old guys that need to go away. Yeah, I'm sorry. Th th this is... This is this whole pay-per-view is stupid, retarded. There, need I say more? Bad promotion. And from what I see on the screen, there's what? One, two, three, four, five. There's six matches, and I guarantee you one of those six matches is the pre-show. I'm not even counting the fillers because uh, I don't know what else is going to happen. The tag team title should be in there somewhere. WWE, you have dropped the ball way too many times. You need to get better writers, better management, get Vince the hell out of there, retire Vince's old ass. But I'm just a peon, I, I make these videos... One, I, I try to make the videos anymore once a month for my predictions and I will do one Sunday night after the pay-per-view for the results. But it's so bad that I actually forgot Sunday was a pay-per-view. That's how bad it's been freaking promoted. 
the only thing they promoted was, oh, we're going to have a new champion because Seth Rollins got injured. So what? They should have had... Fr Roman Reigns should have been the smart one instead of doing this whole freaking tournament. He had a free pass to the finals anyway. He was number one contender. You should have had a tournament to see who was going to go against Roman Reigns for the title. Not Roman Reigns in this freaking tournament. Roman Reigns is a moron. Oh, I want to do it fair. You're already number one contender, dumbass. You already got the free pass to the freaking pay-per-view. But like I said, I'm just a peon. I'm not no wrestler. I'm not no writer. Hell, we're better than them. We're better than the writers. I know that. We come up with more ideas on vi on these video games than the writers do in real life. Why is it that the NXT is more popular with their writers, their trainers, than the main roster? And I'm going to go off again on the, on the NXT guys because they are way better than the main roster. Why is it that... And it's, um, not, it's, not, it's not why is it, it's just, to me, being on NXT is awesome. I would love to be on NXT. Being on the main roster seems like a punishment to these guys. Oh, we made it to the WWE, but I want to stay here on NXT. No, you're going to the main roster. Why? what I do? Oh, you're doing good. You're going to make, be uh, up on the main roster. Why? That's punishment. The only good thing about the Roman Reigns match, even though that Roman's going to win, unfortunately, sadly, is that he's going to spear the living shit out of a hypocrite and an idiot that should have stayed in AAA Lucha Underground Wrestling. Because he was... I'm not... Bashing Alberto Del Rio, by no means. I'm just saying that he left the WWE because they were racist towards him. But yeah, ooh, money. I come back to this racist company. You're a hypocrite. Go back to Lucha Underground. Go back to AAA where you're still the AAA champion. Your talent is a lot better down there than it is on the main roster. And I'm sorry, the gimmick sucks. The gimmick is horrible. You're disgracing... You're... You're... Disrespecting the American flag. You're disrespecting... The Mexican flag. Oh, Mex-America? I'm sorry. I'm an American. He's a Mexican. Zeb Coulter, you're just an idiot. And someone needs to take that little scooter and just destroy it. I'm kind of interested in seeing if uh, Roman Reigns actually does spear a uh, frickin' Zeb Coulter in half. That would be the highlight of the night. Because you all know that the whole pay-per-view is going to suck anyway. But me, I'll either play a WWE Supercars during the during the pay-per-view, or if the pay-per-view gets boring, I'm going to play wrestling. I'm sorry. No hype to the pay-per-view at all. No storylines to lead up to anything other than, oh, we're having this tournament, blah, 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 blah. But that is my predictions. If you understand stood my predictions... This basically became a rant for this whole pay-per-view as being shit. And I'm sorry. But I have been Fireproof. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Or I will see you on a uh, post-pay-per-view re review of what happened, the aftermath of Survivor Series. Peace.